We are well over a month away from Lightfall. So I think everybody knows what that means. The how do I prepare for Lightfall video is here. Yes, today we're gonna discuss how to prepare yourself for Lightfall. We're gonna start like how I started last year with triumphs. Season 16 through 19 triumphs and titles will be going away when Lightfall launches. Those titles will be inaccessible as far as we know, so if you don't have those titles and you want them, I would start getting that rolling. According to Bray.Tech, there are 299 Triumphs in all four seasons combined, and you can hit this button right here to look at all expiring Triumphs. Most of you will not be pursuing all of these, or even half of them. I imagine people will only get what they need for a seasonal title, or all of the seasonal titles, and then be done. But it's still important to know either way for you Triumph grinders out there. Titles are the same kind of deal. Last year, it was mainly about getting kills while wearing the armor from that season. This year, it's more about weapon crafting, getting patterns, decoding engrams of every kind, stuff like that. Speaking of which, be sure to unlock all of the armor for the collections tab for each class that you play if you care about that kind of thing. I have a habit of only unlocking the armor on my Titan and then my Warlock and Hunter usually get ignored. So if you care about future fashion, I would make sure that you have obtained every armor piece from every season on every character at least once. You can delete it right away, but if you want to use the fashion of a certain armor piece, you need to obtain it first and then you can turn it into an ornament. It's not very hard to do, but it's still something you may forget and I know you may forget because I always forget. Naturally, this is going to bring up the topic of guns. I did a separate video discussing what guns I think people should be getting and or should have the pattern for as we don't know the fate of these weapons going into Lightfall. I can tell you that a good amount of weapons from previous seasons are no longer with us and or are subject to just randomly being thrown into the loot pool in some way. The more patterns you can get, the better. Having a pattern is better than having the gun because of vault space and because you can get enhanced perks. As many patterns as you can get, go get them. I'll give a quick recap of the patterns I suggest getting for PvE, but my full video is going to explain things a bit more. Season 16, we have Thoughtless and Explosive Personality. Season 17 is Callous Mini Tool Without Remorse, Hollow Denial. Season 18, Tarnished Metal, Maybe No Reprieve and Sales Spy. And Season 19 is I Close SMG, Fire and Forget, and Retrofit Escapade. PvPers will definitely want the opulent collection of weapons from Season 17, along with the I Close SMG from Season 19. Exotic mission weapons this year include Dead Messenger and Revision Zero. If you own the seasonal content, go get these guns, do their respective quests, they don't take a very long time to do. Dead Messenger is Season of the Risen and Revision Zero is Season of the Seraph. I would strongly recommend getting their catalysts as well. Speaking of catalysts, all season exotic weapons. Now back in May, Bungie changed it so all seasonal exotic catalyst quests after Season of the Risen, take advantage of the Catalyst Boost from the Season Pass, so there's not a huge rush to get these done, but I think these and all other Catalysts are good to go do in the background while you're playing for the next month and a half. Grand Overture, Trespasser, Delicate Tomb, and the Manticore are the weapons from this year. I assume that they will continue to get the Catalyst Boost in the Lightfall era, but knowing the kind of bugs we've gotten recently, it would not surprise me if in the Lightfall era, this Catalyst Boost breaks for these weapons for an unknown period of time. It's just, it might happen, so play it safe. Fortunately, we don't have any previous expansion content going away. This is the year that something like Shadowkeep probably would have been sunset and phased out of the game, but Bungie is no longer sunsetting expansion content, so you can keep slacking on whatever you're missing from Shadowkeep. As a reminder though, all seasonal content, 16, 17, 18, 19, is going away. Last year, planetary materials were a big deal. This year, they're not even in the game anymore, so don't worry about that. I will say that you should try to stock up on ascendant materials, prisms, cores, whatever other upgraded materials you can get. Start stocking up. Save 10 ascendant material in your inventory, and then you can save 10 per character in your postmaster for a total of 40 of each ascendant material plus 50 enhancement prisms in the same manner for a total of 200. Just be careful that you don't accidentally push them out of your postmaster by getting too many blues, keep those inventories clean and clear. Season pass stuff, be sure to eventually grab everything out of that, especially cosmetics, 
Be sure to do that on last season's season pass as well through Bungie.net if you did not do that. The season pass has some pretty high armor rolls. Do not sleep on that gear. Next, participate in the craze still sweeping the Destiny Nation. Clean those vaults. I have done probably a dozen vault cleanings with content creators. People are still asking for vault cleaning based content. I cannot believe it has become this popular and stayed this popular, but it really has. I made a video on how to clean your vault. I suggest giving it a watch. I suggest watching some other creators and the vault cleanings I did with them to get inspired. Fallout, Mr. Fruit, Twice, Cacus, Cross, Frostbolt, Bife, Mylan, Jez, Sir D, Grenader, Jake, Ascendant, Nomad, Sneaky Beaver. Give yourself enough space that you can enjoy Lightfall instead of messing with your inventory. If you have items that are still 1350, that means... You have not touched them since the previous expansion, and it's probably time for some stuff to go. Maybe hold on to some extra power weapons as we wait for a potential new PvE meta. And again, we come back to saving bounties. Bungie is yet again silent on the status of saving bounties. So unless otherwise said by Bungie, bounty saving will be a thing again. The overwhelming majority of you do not need to save bounties. The only people who I believe need to save bounties are the people who are just on the cutting edge of content, are people making a push in the world first raid race, and or are people who just still really want to play Destiny but don't have that much to do. People save bounties to get big XP boosts at the start of a new season to get to the final column of seasonal mods faster. This is why content creators do it. It's so that they can get to the final column of the mods so we can make videos. In the case of the expansion, there are world first raid race ramifications, but I suspect that anyone who is going to be running for the world first raid completion is probably going to get that final column of mods without much issue, regardless of the bounties that they save or don't save. DestinyRecipes.com is going to be the site to use to keep track of which bounties are best to do and save. Generally speaking, you want to be doing weekly bounties from non-seasonal sources, as seasonal bounties are subject to disappearing. Part of the reason I'm posting this video very early is for you bounty preppers out there. Ascendant challenges in the Dreaming City are on a six-week rotation, meaning you can store six weeks worth of these weekly bounties on all of your characters, and this video is coming out on that six-week marker. So one per week per character for the next six weeks, and you can get them all done. They are incredibly fast to do. It's only a few minutes per bounty, and they are a great source of XP. Other weeklies include Moon Bounties, Cosmodrome Bounties, Europa, Nightmare Hunt, and Dares of Eternity. Beyond that, you're going to want to grab non-seasonal, non-repeatable bounties, Strikes, Crucible Gambit, Gunsmith, Trials, and Destination Bounties for basically every destination. EDZ, Nessus, Throne World, Europa, Dares, blah, 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 blah. Only grab repeatable bounties if you still have the space for them. Again, the majority of people do not need to stockpile bounties. It is just something to do on Destiny if you're bored or want a boost to your levels in the next expansion. Maybe you can't play as much next season and you really want to make sure you get to level 100 on the season pass. It is a totally optional thing. And that is everything for Lightfall Prep. Pretty similar to last year's prep. If you want to go do it, if you want to do everything, cool. If you want to do literally nothing, that's also cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.